Yeah, I, I was proud of the guys. Uh, we had some guys go down, um, which is an opportunity for other guys to step up. And we've been working that all fall camp. I really felt like we had good depth, and not just at the receiver position, but the tight end position and the offensive line and the running back position. And it's we, we needed that depth because of you know it's, the circumstances are what they are. Yeah, I mean, the earlier the better. But uh, the one the one thing we try to do is really make sure, let's say a guy is a little nicked up for practice, so we have to hold him out because the player told us to hold him out. Um, we really try to make that guy take mental reps, you know, which is different. It's not the same as physical reps. The play, playing the play in his mind. And, and our guys have been really in tune and locked into that stuff. So if we've had, for, some, for example, a guy maybe miss a practice, but he's locked in and he's taking every mental rep. He's not taking a physical rep. And so, which helps him be able to play on Saturday. Is, is Oliver a guy who excels at that? I mean, last year you kind of praised him as someone who stayed with it even when he didn't know. Who sure. Play. Yeah, no, he, he he's a great example. You know, he's a guy that uh, you know has been able to play the last two games. We're hopefully going to play this week. Um, but when he wasn't in there, like the last two weeks, we were we were hopeful that he would play last week. He's really locked in, and we felt mentally he could play. Now there's still no substitute for the game reps. But to your, to your point, he's really good at, um, he wants to be out there. And so taking advantage and learning from other people's reps. It's easy to see the impact on the passing game when you're down so many pass catchers, but what's the impact on the running game when you have to go to the second, third team or second, those receiver tight spots? Uh, basically the same thing in the passing game. I mean, anytime you have injuries, first of all, we feel like we have depth, the next guy can stand up. but. You know, we also ask a lot from our skilled guys, tight ends and receivers, on who to block, you know, and, and, and to block well in the perimeter. That's a big part of our run game. Uh, and so it, those guys, you can only rep so many guys. Um, we had some guys that hadn't had a lot of reps that got thrown into the mix and actually did a really good job, you know, which is a trip to them. But it's kind of the same thing that goes in the passing game. The chemistry that you build with Adrian, um, it, it, you, you need to get that same chemistry, blocking the perimeter blocks, all the different things that we do through rep, repetition. And the more reps, that the better you are. What different look does Travis look like bring to this offense when he's happy? Yeah, I mean, just, just having another great player on our offense. He's, he's very physical, uh, point of attack guy. Um, he's very uh, cerebral, so we can do a ton of things with him. Um, he's another guy that, even though he hasn't played, he's been locked in and taking every rep mentally. Uh, he's a great receiver. You know, he can split him out into a wide receiver set and see what kind of matchups we're going to get. And he can run every route a receiver can run. So. He just gives you a lot of flexibility of different things he can do. And he, and he brings a, a physicality, um, just his mental toughness and how hard he plays in practice that's contagious and, and helps the rest of our offense. Is he a guy that you feel like you guys have a sense on whether he's available earlier in the week or is that a decision made closer to the game? Yeah, all, all those guys that haven't played, it, we may, that's a decision we make going into the game. Um, but yeah, we, we've, we're hopeful he's going to play. What's the challenge? There's a lot of things challenging. What was the whole question? What's challenging about the whole defense, particularly Yeah, sure. Well, they they have great players, but but they're very well coached, and uh, they 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 play hard. Um, they know their system, which to me is one of the a, a testament to their coaching is they keep things very simple, so those guys can play fast. But uh, but they do enough things too to, to cause you problems. Um, you know, they they, they 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 move around a lot, so you got to know where they are. Um, they're physical. They uh, they get off on the ball. Um, they have the ability to bring pressure, and, and they cover well. So, you know, you put that in too. Is you got you, when you cover good on the back end, that, that helps out your pass rush. And uh, so we we got to work it out for us. Gabe's obviously a really young back. Did you see something in the second half with him where he something something changed, or was there just a little more room for him to operate? Or I guess what did you make of his production? Yeah, uh, yeah, good question. I, it's a combination of things. I think he's getting more comfortable. I think there were some better holes, you know, and, and I thought uh, he took advantage of those holes. You know, I think he uh, took some unfair criticism, especially in the first game where there wasn't a lot of room. And uh, he, 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 he's getting more comfortable through practice, and he felt some of those holes in the game, and it showed that, that he's pretty good when he gets the ball in space, and he did a good job hitting balls running downhill. And he's, he's done a really good job of uh, pass protection, which I think – really goes unnoticed by, by fans. And some of the throws that Adrian gets off is because, you know, he stepped up and blocked somebody. How impressive is that for a guy to be that young and to, to, be, to, to be that proficient, I guess, 
Yeah, I mean, he's it's, it's real impressive. He's mature uh, beyond his age. You know, he was here. His he should be. He's a high school senior last year, so this is his first year here, and, it, and he's starting to. You know, we're, we're expecting to play like a senior just because he's he's in there, and uh, he's handled that well. Um, you know, like everyone, he's made some mistakes, but a big thing of uh, just just mental toughness and maturity is how do you battle back from those mistakes? And he doesn't let a mistake get him down. You know, he doesn't dwell on. He learns from it, and moves on, and so that's something that. Uh, is a sign of a very mature guy that, uh, yeah, we're, we're, he's going to keep getting better, too. Matt, Matt, Adrian has been a part of so many big plays like he has over the past two months. All three games. Um, how do you find the balance within the offense so that you're not relying on the quarterback as the ball in the sure. play? How do you not rely too much on him and make it easier on the defense to focus on him? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, in the game, um, first, I mean, a testament to Adrian is, is, is he is making a lot of big plays. And some of it's, it's, it's dictated by, it wasn't a called play for him to actually run the ball, for example, but because of what happened, whether it was a read or whether it was the coverage telling him he had to run it, he's made a fast decision and, and done it. Um, I think we only had four or five in the game call quarterback runs where he was the primary guy. So, so but in our offense, kind of nature of our offense, where if, whether it's a pass play, you know, and no one's open, or the coverage dictates you to run, or it's a run play, and your read tells you to run. Sometimes that happens, and you know, he, he's a good player that can make guys miss in space and, and do a lot of good things with the football. But, uh, but to, to answer your, your your question, there wasn't a lot of designed runs for him to actually be the primary guy. Yep. Uh, that's a really good question. I think they do a good job of that. And uh, the, the biggest thing is we have a lot of progression-based route concepts, meaning it really doesn't matter what the coverage is. He starts to one side and works works to the other side. So if his first read's open, he throws it to him. If the coverage takes away his first read, he's on to the next guy, then to the next guy, then to the next guy. And so, you know, that's, that's built into our system. I think that really helps because not just Oklahoma, but college football in general and the NFL, teams are really good at disguising coverages. And, and it changes on the snap. And quarterbacks like having answers. They want to know where they can go, go with the ball fast. And, and he's been doing a really good job of that. Matter of fact, uh, a lot of the big plays in this last game were his second and third progression, where he went to his first progression, he made a fast decision, got to his second one, like the big play to Samari was that way. Uh, the, the one penalty, that, that was the same thing. I mean, he, he's done a really good job of, of understanding his progressions and getting to them fast. Yeah, well, I wasn't here with him as a freshman. This is only my second year, but I was here last year. And uh, I just think just every year he's gotten better. And I think that's a, a really a testament to him because, you know, he's a guy that's had some success. He's been a four-year starter, and he still wants to get better. He still wants to get better. And so he's kind of pushed himself to make himself better, and, by just, and it's repetition, repetition, repetition. And when you do the more reps, the, more, the faster your decision process goes. Uh, I would say it's, it's all business. I mean, I know we're, we're excited as coaches. Our, I know our players are very excited for, because they understand the, the rivalry. They understand that we're playing against a really good football team. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an awesome opportunity for them to play against on a, on a big stage. So I think everyone gets that. But at the end of the day, as a coach, regardless who you're playing, all you can do is really control what you control, which is your, your best possible effort as a coach or as a player at that, at that moment, and treat every game the same. Um, and, and when it, when it comes down to it, you got to be focused on what your assignment is. What if you're calling a play? If your if your assignment is to look at what the defense is doing, it's that simple, and you can't get caught up in all the other stuff because that that's when you get distracted. And so, as a coach, it's it, it, re it really is another game. It really is, and you can't treat any opponent any different. Um, you know, we've we've been preparing for this for for a long time, but we've prepared for other two games for a long time as well. So, so I guess and it is business, but we're excited to play. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, I think our guys have done a really good job of executing that specific type of stuff. Uh, like I said, it's, it's always been in our offense. Um, you know, some of it's based on what the defense is going to do that on a game plan standpoint, what we think we're going to get. Um, and, and then some of it is just it's built into our offense where, you know, the option wasn't called, but it turned into the option. looks like the option to 
to the fans. And so, and kind of in a roundabout way, um, we, we want to, if things are doing good, we want to keep doing those same things, okay? If, if things aren't, we either want to fix them and move on or, or find out why they're not working or do something that does work. So, and that's not just the option, but that's really any play. I mean, they're, they're good all over the place. And, and the other thing that's really impressed me with them is they play so many guys. Uh, they, they, they rotate DBs. seems like they're two or three deep. They rotate their defensive linemen. They rotate the linebackers, which is, is a tribute to their coaching because it's the twos and threes know what the heck they're doing and playing well and playing fast. And it's also a tribute to the way they've recruited, the talent level they have, that they can do that, and there's no drop-off. So that, that, that's the biggest thing that – you know, just been doing this for a while to see so many guys playing at a high level, um, which, which keeps the other guys fresh and doing it well, which is, is very impressive.